Hey friends, Sam here. How you doing? Today, we're gonna to be working on this Nintendo 64. I've had this one in my collection since about 2012. Um, this is probably the best deal I've ever gotten in my entire life. I bought this, two controllers, and two games. I think it was Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Goldeneye. All the cables for $12. So immediately, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh yes please, I'll have that. So I bought it. And uh, it's, I used it a couple times. It's been in storage a couple times as well. It's been around between my house and my brother's house. And it's collected a lot of dust. It was already pretty dirty when we got it, but I hadn't cleaned it or anything. And as you just found out, I only just got my game bit screwdrivers. So I'm deciding we're gonna clean it today. You can see it's got lots of dust on it from just sitting out. And in all the grates and the vents and stuff, it's just caked with dust and dirt. And it could just really do with a clean. It's got the typical 64 problem of you have to insert the cartridge a couple times to get it to actually work. But hopefully with a nice clean today, it'll end up working minty fresh. So that's what's happening today. Stick around, watch me do that, and please enjoy. If you're doing this at home, I suggest removing this first. I kind of just forgot it was there. I can't confirm it's safe to remove this label. Nothing bad happened after I did. The label lies. I have no idea how this is even possible, but it looks like my top heatsink is dented. I don't know, man. I suggest removing the harmonica so it makes it a lot easier to clean up the whole area for more reliable gameplay readingness. It's not too bad in here, it has some dust and dirt but it's looking alright considering this console is about the same age as me and has never had a bath. Imagine if I'd never had a bath, I'd be rancid. Anyways, let's give it a scrub.
Oh, look at this. It's all cleaned up rather nice. Anyways, let's slap it all back together.
and there we are just like that all nice and clean again and it looks awesome um it wasn't that dirty to begin with it just had a lot of dust caked in it and grime hair obviously but wasn't as bad as i thought it might be considering i bought this thing from a tip shop a while ago so yeah i'm very happy with how it's turned out uh it's not too hard to do all you need to worry about is keeping track of what screws go where so if you just kind of section it off separate all the screws maybe write down where the screws go uh, it's pretty easy to follow along. So I'm very happy with this one. I'm glad I decided to do the 64 today. It's, it's a good console to work on. So that's it for this one. Um, thank you for watching. If you like my videos and things like that, then please like and subscribe and do all the things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.